Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, I'm uh, here to do a quick tutorial on um, how you can simulate a slider shot within Final Cut Pro 10, uh, which should also work for other video editors depending on the settings, but uh, this will give you the basic idea at least here. Now um, obviously a slider, or for some people who don't know what it is, is a mechanical device. What you uh, put your camera on, which you slowly move down the track, um, from you're actually kind of like panning from left to right or right to left in a straight line and it makes a lot of static shots uh, more interesting um, so I kind of got this uh, with an idea of, of cropping different videos to get that effect so uh, we're gonna simulate that now so I already got my uh, video clip that we're gonna use we're gonna put that on the timeline just like so and uh, we're going to go ahead and choose it and then in Final Cut Pro 10 we're going to go to the uh, the crop mode here um, which you can trim crop and something called Ken Burns which has normally been used for photographs static photographs but it also works really great for video as well so we're going to go ahead and choose that um, now obviously you see an in point and out point or start and stop and uh, for this to work you're actually going to have to uh, crop in slightly uh, depending and so uh, the start point we're going to uh, begin at the beginning of the video and then the end point at the end obviously so what we're going to do is move we're going to keep the crop point right here and we're actually going to well actually we're going to put it toward the bottom and then we're going to move it toward the end of the video clip now for this to work you really need to have the vertical height exactly the same or else it's going to zoom in while you're um, zoom in or out as you're moving from left to right or right to left not unless you want to use it as a kind of a special effect uh, you'd want to do this and then we're going to take uh, this right here and we're going to move it to roughly the same uh, height as the end point and then we're going to simply drag it toward the beginning of the video uh, just like so and so you can adjust these as to what you know the height um, your focal point that you want to do in the video so if the focal points uh, you know in the middle or on the top or the bottom you can adjust as needed so we're going to go ahead and uh, click done and as you see it does, uh, did uh, crop in which is to be expected because uh, that's how we're going to simulate the shot and it's almost rendered out we're going to wait until now and then we're going to show you here um, the um, the slider effect now keep in mind it is a tad slow um, so there's actually many things you can do oh no this is actually not bad so um, what's also nice as well is you can speed up or slow down depending on the length of the video. Um, so usually this works best with a longer video because then you can simply, uh, if you want to speed up the uh, slider effect, you simply, uh, for instance, we're just going to chop that in half, reduce that down, and you'll actually see a much faster slider effect uh, from uh, right to left, or excuse me, left to right just like that or vice versa you know if you want a slower effect then obviously you can do it increase the length of the video and then obviously it's going to be a much slower uh, effect so uh, there you go uh, that's how you simulate a slider effect within Final Cut Pro 10 like I said it'll work with other videos uh, depending, uh, obviously, it may use different settings. Uh, until then, uh, see you in the next video, and thanks.